two of the test for review. Um, you tighten a string to a tension of 30 newtons. So there's a string here uh, tightened to 30 newtons. Its mass density is 0 0.015 kilogram per meter. And its length is 18 centimeters. Calculate its second overtone frequency. So this topic has to do with uh, standing waves in strings. So let me give you a little bit background. When a string is um, tightened on both sides, the different kinds of frequencies that will resonate in that string, well, the requirement is that both sides of the string have to be nodes. So what kind of wavelengths can resonate very well in that string? Well, it could be a wavelength that has a node here, a node here. It goes up and it goes down. It goes down and it goes up. So what part of a wavelength, wavelength is that? Well, a complete wave is up, down, and back up, right? So this is actually half a wavelength, up and down, okay? So a half a wavelength of the wave that you are generating has to fit within the length of the string. Or it could be up, down, and back up, okay? So as long as the two side is node, or down, up, and back down. Okay, so as long as this is node and then you have an extra node here, what part of a wave is this? Uh, up, down, and back up, that's a complete wave. Okay, or you're gonna do up, down, up, and then back up and down, down, up, down, and back down and up. What part of a wave is fitting into the length of the string? That would be three halves of a wave. Uh, of a wavelength is fitting into the length, of the, the length of the string. So the pattern we're getting out of this is that the wavelength of the wave you create has to be either twice the length, or it could be equal to the length, or it could be equal to twice the length over three. <coughs> okay, and that's sort of the pattern that we are getting. So um, now, in, if we want to express this in terms of frequencies, we say, uh, velocity of the wave times uh, the vo Now, if we want to express this in terms of frequencies, we say the velocity of any wave is equal to its wavelength times its frequency. The frequency is how many cycles per second the wave is going up and down, right? So uh, the frequency is equal to the velocity over its corresponding wavelength. So what would be the frequency of this first um, wave that we have created? This is known as the fundamental frequency, it's the lowest frequency. So the frequency of that is going to be equal to V over what? 2L, right? And then what's the frequency of this one gonna equal? V over L, the frequency of this one is gonna equal what? If I do um, velocity divided by this wavelength, I'm gonna get what? Velocity divided by 2L over three. What is that gonna come out? It's gonna come out 3B over 2L. So now I begin to see a pattern developing here. This is what I'm gonna call uh, here uh, F1, okay? I'm gonna call this one F2. I'm gonna call this one F3. How can I write this so that I get a general equation out of this? F sub n is equal to what? Well, I notice if I put n here, that I'm actually getting multiples, right? n v over 2L. I'm getting multiples of v over 2L, right? Where n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so on, so on, so on, right? Um, if I put n equals 1 here, what am I going to get? 1, v over 2L, that works out. If I put n equals 2 here, what am I going to get? 2v over 2L, 2v over 2L is equal to v over L, right? It's because you can always write this 2v over 2L. If I put 3 here, I get 3v over 2L, and so on. So this is the general pattern that we get for a wave that is, um, that is taut at both sides and it is uh, able to move up and down in the middle. You get anti-nodes in the middle, okay? Now, a little bit about the vocabulary of this. 
N equals 1 is called the first harmonic. Also, it's called the fundamental frequency. Fundamental frequency. That's N equals 1. N equals 2 is called the second harmonic because it's the uh, uh, frequency that's second up and it's twice the frequency of the fundamental frequency, right? N equals 2. It's also called the first overtone. Why first overtone? Because it's the first frequency over the fundamental frequency. And then N, would, N equals 3 would be the third harmonic. It would also be the second overtone, and so on and so forth. So this is what we mean by first overtone. Now we can go to this problem more specifically. Now, in this problem, we don't necessarily know the velocity of the uh, waves in the string, so we have to first calculate that. We're going to use the equation velocity is square root of tension over linear mass density mu, okay? Or sometimes we could also write it as lambda, linear mass density of the string. This is the velocity of waves, velocity of waves in a string. The more tension you have in the wave, the more taut it is, the more faster the wave is gonna travel through the wave, right? That's why when you have an instrument, you tighten the instrument string. When you tighten it, you're creating more tension, and the more tense it is, the higher the velocity waves it will create, okay? If the velocity of the wave is big, if the velocity of the wave is big, the frequency that it creates should also be large, okay? So when you tighten the string instrument string, it should give you higher frequencies. And those of you who play guitar or violin or any other kind of string instrument, you already know this, right? Now, the other thing, the, the thinner the string is, the lighter it is in terms of mass, the faster the velocity should go also because it can go vibrate up and down quicker, right? The wave, the string wave can propagate through it much quicker. So it's telling us in this problem that the tension is 30 newtons. The linear mass density is 0 0.015 kilogram per meter. And uh, what's the units of that gonna come out? Newton per kilogram per meter. Well, Newton is defined as a what? Kilogram meter per second squared. If you divide that by kilogram per meter, what are you going to get? Kilogram, kilogram going to cancel. The meter is going to go up. You're going to get meter squared over second squared. When you square root that, what are you going to get? Meter per second, right? So the units will work, of this will work out so that it gives you units of velocity, right? So let's calculate that. 3 divided by 0.0. 3 divided by 0 0.015. Okay, so this one comes out to be 44.721 meters per second. So the velocity of the waves uh, in the string are pretty fast, 44 meters per second, about 60, 65, 70 miles per hour the wave is going to travel in that string. So now if I want to calculate the frequency second overtone, remember the first overtone always starts with the second harmonic, right? So second overtone is N is 3. So we have to do F of 3. Then we're going to put this equation. We put N equals 3, velocity 44.721. We divide that by 2. Now what's the length of the string? The length of the string is 18 centimeter. So we convert that to meter, which is 0.18. 0.18 meter, so we go 44.721 times 3 divided by 2, uh, divided by 0.18, that gives you 372.68 hertz. So then you can compare that to what musical note that will be equivalent to, and then that will tell you what's the second overtone frequency of that string. So now you know how to approach these kinds of problems and the basis of the theory on which uh, what they are based on. Okay, thank you.